Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanique, and today I'll be doing a watch on my iPhone 13 Pro Max with the iOS 16 update. So I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max in silver, and I'm just gonna show you all the new updates and stuff that they got. So the first thing on my screen is this. So as you can tell, the font and the color is different. So how to change that? All you have to do is like click Click the plus sign and then pick whatever wallpaper that you want. And then I'm just going to click customize. And all you have to do is click gallery. You can change however you want your wallpaper to be. And then up at the top, you can click if you want the date and time, clocks, your fitness, the weather, whatever you want it to be. And then for the time right here, the fonts, you can change it. I kind of like this one because it's like different but I'm going to choose this one because it's bigger and then you can also change the color however so I'm just going to keep it like that and then to change the bottom ones down here all you have to do is click it and then you can add or delete so I'm going to remove that so I can show you how to do it so you, you just tap it and then it just shows you how to do it. So I have it for the battery percentage, calendar, and then the weather. And yeah, you can pinch it to crop, do whatever. You can also swipe, and then it'll change like the filter on it. But I'm gonna keep it regular because I think it looks better. But yeah, that's how you do that. And then you can set it as a wallpaper pair. So as you can tell, it has the lock screen and then the home screen is just red. So I'm going to click that one. You can also click literally any one of them. You just hold down on it, swipe, make any amount that you want, and then change it however often you want to. I'm wondering if that's going to like make the battery percentage go down. But yeah. And also, speaking of the battery percentages... As you can tell at the top, my battery percentage is no longer like the regular. You can actually see like the percent. So I'm gonna swipe up and then show you. So as you swipe up, I'm gonna show you how to do that first. So you go to settings and then click battery. And then this little thing at the top that says battery percent, you can turn it on or you can turn it off. So that's how you do that. But now I'm gonna show you like what's on the phone. So the first thing is Widget Smith. There's this widget that has this butterfly that I got off of Pinterest. And then there's photos. So photos, I'm gonna show you the up. I'm gonna click the same picture that I have as my wallpaper. So you, all you have to do is hold down on the picture like this and then move it. So as you can tell, it's moving around. You could send it anywhere you want, I guess. I don't know how you do this. I tried to put it in iMessage and it didn't work. So, yeah, you can just place it anywhere. If you're trying to Photoshop something out of a picture, you just hold down on it and then, yeah. So next, there's FaceTime, Calendar, Camera, Mail, Regular Apple Mail, Yahoo Mail, and Gmail. And then there's Google Maps and Apple Maps. So with the Apple Maps, they have this new thing where if you're going to this place and you want to stop at a place in between you can put it in the gps so it'll stop there first and then wherever you want it to go after that then there's clocks weather and then weather network which is kind of more accurate and then there's this thing here that says apple which are all the apple apps that basically no one uses so there's contacts voice memo compass measure calculator files translate iTunes stores and find my iPhone shortcuts tips home Apple TV and I have widgets in here Apple store Apple support and then this new fitness app that just randomly showed up so I just put it there and then I have phone two shot apps and then tell us and then there's home there's nest myq and alarm.com then there's notes money so it has all the apps in here. 
that involve money. And then there's the app store, wallet, health, reminders, and settings. So on the next page, there's this little widget that has this red heart that gives me like aura vibes, which is why I liked it. And it also matches the background. So yeah, the first thing here is Instagram. Yeah, it's over here. You can go follow, follow Instagram. And then there's Snapchat, TikTok, and then YouTube Studio. If you're a YouTuber, you need that app. So next, there's social. So there's Google, WhatsApp, Visco, Facebook, Twitter, Messenger, Pinterest, YouTube, LensBuddy, and then Uber. Then there's the a section for YouTube itself. So that's all the stuff that I used to edit videos and thumbnails and stuff. So there's Pixar, Fonto, Lightroom, Canon Connect, iMovie, VideoStar, CapCut, VN, and Vida. So that's all the stuff that I used to like edit and all of that. And then there's this widget, which is the same one as my lock screen on the right. And then down at the bottom left, there's the same widget that's at the top. Then beside that, there's shopping. So there's Amazon, Foot Locker, Nike, Hollister, American Eagle, Poshmark. My Poshmark is down below. SPC, H&M, Kijiji, Fashionova, Runway, and Copert. Then there's games. So I have Toon Blast, Helix Jump. Magic Tile 3, Heyday, Nick Tennis, and Spongebob. And I don't play those last two games. I don't even know why I have it. And there's School. So there's Socratic, Shag Study, and then Course Hero. That's it. And then the last and final thing over here is Movies. So there's Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Cineplex, Scene Plus, which is for the Cineplex. Cineplex Store, which you can rent movies. And then there's Prime Videos which is for Amazon. So yeah, that's that. And then also you can see this new thing at the bottom that says search. Usually you would just pull the screen down and then the search will just pop up. I mean, you still do it, but now you can just tap it and then it'll just pop up. Then there's phone, Safari, messages. And they have this new thing that you can go in and edit the messages that you sent so if you send something and there's like a typo, you can go back and fix it and then send it again. And also, if you want to unsend the message, you can go in and unsend it too. So yeah, that's a good update. And then there's music. So here, I just have this. So this is the last song that I was listening to. So I'm going to click it and then show you what it looks like on the home screen with the new update. So here's what it looks like. So basically it just comes up at the bottom that says the song and then all you have to do is tap the picture and then it just comes up like this. The font and everything stays the same but the color changes to the album picture. So you can also tap it again and then it'll move and the song just plays at the bottom. So yeah that was that was cool. I really thought that was a good update. And then over here is just the same. I didn't see any new emojis. If there was, comment down below what they were. This is the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your bell on so you're notified whenever I post a new video. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.